Hello everyone, I'm Nikki. I'm a campaign officer at Viva Salud. And um, Viva Salud is a Belgian NGO for the right to health. Uh, it means that we support activists for a public health care system and a more healthy society in general in the Philippines, Palestine and the DRC. Within Viva Salud, we have um, two big campaigns each year uh, at this moment. So it is um, on the one hand the public health care campaign and on the other hand the Only Fighters Win campaign, um, which is about the civic space of um, health activists. So these two campaigns, I think we can say, align with the two objectives of um, our organization. I think the aim to organize a campaign is to translate a complex uh, political message into a language that many people can understand. So for me, it is about raising awareness and building an alliance with other people, other social movements, um, or even NGOs to tackle the political is uh, issue that we are mobilizing around. The first step in this uh, mobilizing process is um, giving information, so informing the people because um, people will never act on issues that they have no awareness about. It's very important to raise awareness about the issues that we are fighting against. So this can be done in multiple ways. Uh, as I said, uh, by organizing a webinar, by writing statements that people can read, and of course, um, through social media. Uh, so this, uh, we believe, is the first step, the giving of information and then the second step is organizing people. This can be done by, for example, organizing an activity together with them. Um, so sometimes individuals want to organize an activity um, for their community, for example. Um, sometimes we have people visiting um, from the Philippines, as Jigs did in 2017. And then um, we will bring him in contact with different people and he will go to schools, go to social movements, um, different communities to have contact with them and to share his story to exchange. Uh, another example is supporting social movements to organize an activity or inviting other organizations to join a campaign. So uh, an example of this is the uh, action of Defend the Defenders, which we organize on the uh, 10th of December each year. Um, it's on the Human Rights Day that we will have an action um, yeah, to, to make a call uh, to respect human rights on a global level, in which we will bring some cases um, forward, for example, from the Philippines. Um, and often we will also write something, make a call uh, towards our politicians. In the end, um, our aim is to empower people, so to empower our social base, um, the social movements and other organizations that are implied in networks, so that um, we can organize activities and campaigns together as equal partners, um, or that um, yeah, they can organize activities on their own. Um, so that a social change um, would happen in society on a global level. The Only Fighters Win campaign uh, has its focus on the democratic space for activists, which is, which is getting smaller and smaller. Um, so activists yeah, who struggle for the right to health, but also who struggle for a healthier society, we would, we would say. Um, when regarding the social determinants. And when we were talking about human rights uh, in 2020, we of course could not neglect the impact of the coronavirus. So especially in the Philippines and in Palestine, we noticed that these countries, um, which already criminalized social movements, used the lockdown as an excuse to silence all critical voices. Um, so our policy officer wrote a paper about this in which he analyzed the situation. And after that, we set up a roadmap that translated the paper in different um, concrete call to actions um, that could reach a broad range of people through different media. So one of these media 
is of course the social media, which is uh, really important in these times. Some examples are um, a weekly updates that we will send to a WhatsApp group um, about our health workers in the Philippines, the Palestine and the DRC to just um, keep people updated um, about the situation in these countries, but also to establish a connection between activists um, worldwide. Um, we also spread the campaign paper on social media, of course, and a video which summarizes this paper because, of course, not everybody wants to read the paper um, of many pages. Uh, we will also do some regular posts on social media about what our partners are doing. Um, we are writing different articles that can be published on our website or sometimes even in newspapers. And um, what we also did this year was um, we designed a mouth mask uh, of our campaign. So this was also a creative way to to promote our message by yeah in the public space. We also, uh, for example, organized a contest on social media um, where people could win a free example of this mask. The different activities that we organized. Um, for example, to imply our volunteers in the campaign, um, we would hold a brainstorm session together with them to see where they can uh, support us or which activities they can organize themselves. Our best activity was um, the one on the 10th of December, which was also the end of our campaign, um, the Defend Defenders Action. Um, it's a yearly activity that this year um, had to take place online. We could not um, organize something um, on the streets in, in that time of the year. So, um, yeah, together with many other Belgian social organizations, we organized the action on the Human Rights Day. Um, in the, the platform of Defend to Defenders, we have NGOs, but we also have social movements and the labor unions. So this makes a really um, strong group, I believe. We decided to organize an online alternatives. Um, for the duration of two weeks, we asked people to publish a picture of themselves online um, with the hands before their mouth, so like this, to show um, that social movements are being silenced. Uh, so we asked to put this picture on uh, their Facebook wall and to tag three friends and was shared more than 75 times. So this was really successful um, for us. It was shared through different organizations and also through the labor unions. Um, and by this, we were able to reach many people uh, and to, yeah, to spread the name of our organization, uh, yeah, of our platform, Defend the Defenders, which uh, was a really great achievement for us. Um, so eventually also the, the ministers of um, foreign affairs and development cooperation, they answered our call. And of course, now we will follow up closely um, which actions they will take um, to, to, uh, to provide that um, all human rights are respected worldwide. So I think um, we can say that the aims of our campaign uh, were reached. We made people, movements, and also uh, yeah, other organizations and our politicians aware of the um, that the democratic space for activists is getting smaller and smaller, um, and that also the COVID measures has a, have an impact on this. And we also mobilized people um, to act for change. And I think uh, this is the main aim of uh, our campaign, uh, Only Fighters Win, and also one of the main aims of um, yeah, the work that we are doing with Viva Salud.